Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev played quite a legendary role in the field of chemistry. He not only gave us the simplest and the most efficient method of grouping elements, but also laid the foundations of periodic classification of elements that we use today. So in this video, let's dedicate some time to understand what and how Mendeleev actually worked on. When Mendeleev began his work of grouping the elements and arranging them, there were almost 63 elements known to him. He was firm on the thought of arranging the elements with respect to their physical as well as chemical properties. He knew that for understanding the chemical properties, he would need to make them react with one or two standard elements. For this, he chose hydrogen and oxygen. But why? Mendeleev thought of making the elements react with hydrogen and oxygen because of the following reasons. They are very reactive, they are found readily, and they form compounds with most of the elements. Yes, this helped him understand the chemical properties of all the reacting elements. Later, in order to simplify the process, he wrote all the physical and chemical properties of each element on 63 different cards. Now all he had to do is arrange these cards. But that wasn't so simple. So he started arranging the cards in the increasing order of the atomic masses. When he was done pasting all these cards on his wall, he had two astonishing observations. One was that there were a few empty spaces left in the complete table that he formed. These positions belonged to the elements that were not yet discovered. But Mendeleev had a firm belief that the missing elements did exist and are yet to be discovered. Not only this, but he was so confident about the characteristics of these elements that he predicted their properties well in advance. Later on, when the elements were discovered, it was found that the properties predicted by Mendeleev were almost a perfect match. Second observation that Mendeleev had was the recurrence of the physical and the chemical properties of these elements. When arranged in a systematic manner, it was found that the physical and the chemical properties of elements recurred at a particular interval of frequency. With this, Mendeleev came up with a law. He named it as the periodic law. The law stated that properties of elements are periodic functions of their atomic masses. Now what do we exactly mean by this? Let's simplify this by breaking the statement in parts. Properties of elements means the physical and the chemical properties of all the elements in the table. Or the periodic functions means those which occur at regular intervals. And lastly, of their atomic masses means when arranged in the increasing order of their atomic masses. So can we simply say that when elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic masses, they show similarities in the physical and chemical properties at regular intervals? Yes, that's what Mendeleev meant. This is how Mendeleev led the foundations for the modern periodic table. But did this great contribution by Mendeleev have no limitations at all? Well, there were a few that emerged with time. Let's discuss the achievements and the limitations of Mendeleev's work in the next video.